Good morning, good afternoon. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on this start of the work week, Monday, March 20th, 2023. It's about 12.18 p.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. And the latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.4 into the region of uh, the Mediterranean. Quite a bit of activity ramping up here overnight, including some earthquake activity up north here of the Turkey area. We'll get to that here in just a second. Want to jump into space weather activity here real quick as we look at the latest data here from the solarham.net site. We do have a fairly massive coronal hole, number 86 down here. I believe it's 86, right? 86. Uh, currently just about lined up with the Earth-Sun plane as um, far as facing us goes, but as notice the uh, position here on the southern hemisphere of the sun, kind of pointing towards the south. But again, this is shooting out high-speed solar wind uh, in all directions from this hole. So we could get a little glancing blow from this uh, solar wind stream in the coming days, probably more than likely after the 22nd. We'll continue to monitor that uh, for some potential solar storming. A look at the sunspots this morning shows this large regional sunspot here getting ready to uh, rotate further into view into the earth plane view earth sun plane view I should say a little bit of activity up here on the northeastern limb here of the sun as well looks uh, fairly massive we'll continue to watch these two regional sunspots as they progress and develop potentially adding to some uh, moderate solar flare threat in the coming days 95% chance of a C flare right now. M flare elevated to about 30% chance. X flare has been elevated too, uh, to about 5%. So these sunspots do pose a little threat for some intense flaring. Uh, looking at the UV filter here, got this massive sunspot feature. Um, notes uh, the lines up here. Let me see which one that's coming from here. Looks like maybe. 3258 pretty nice looking there on the uv uh filter but doesn't look too impressive on the magnetic structure uh, as far as those um, um regional sunspots go in that specific area all right uh, what do we have overnight let me look here a couple c's did have that m flare peak out yesterday it was an m 1.2 or so since then, a couple, again, as I mentioned, a couple sea flares popping off from these sunspot regions. We'll continue to watch that as um, they progress. There's a massive prominence feature up here. Huge band of plasma that is in the Earth directed view. Um, looks like it's stable for now, but that could change. We'll continue to monitor that. I believe there was something that popped off here this morning it doesn't look like he's mentioning it yet far as the a uh, uh, little prominence that erupted down here on the southern end i believe anyway we'll check on that a little bit later tonight uh kevin mentions here from solarham.net about the coronal hole activity number 86 uh looks like uh expected possibly around the march 20 23rd i think that's a little typo 23rd and lead to a geomagnetic disturbance at higher latitude. So again, we'll continue to watch this as uh, it gets a little bit closer towards that date. All right, earthquake activity. See what we have here. Most recent activity map here from the USGS. Starting out here in the West Coast. Got uh, a little bit of activity off the coast of Northern California into the Gorda Ridges, the Gorda Plate down here. Just shy of the Cascadia Megathrust. Looks like a 2.8, about 12 kilometers deep or so. And uh, looking about probably 25 miles here, just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, nothing really specific going on there for now, which is good news. A little spotty activity throughout the Pacific Northwest. Uh, around the Bay Area of California, things relatively quiet today, 2.1. Uh, that one coming in late last night there, just um, off of the... Which fault system is that? Kind of looks like it's a West Napa fault, maybe extending down here. Uh, a little bit of movement outside of San Jose and the creeping segment here of the San Andreas Fault. Some further movement overnight. Nothing major, though. 
Still got a little bit of swarming out here in the California, Nevada region. Uh, a couple from yesterday and a couple from today, adding to the uh, number of earthquakes that's been taking place out here. Uh, quite interesting. No main quake out there, but uh, things have been rocking and rolling for a little while. Um, I wanted to check 2.5 and above down here. Let's see, we had a 2.6. That looks like it's um, on the North American side of the plate boundary. 3.0. Let's see, where's that at? South of San Jose. That's on the uh, Cal uh, Hayward Calaveras Fault, excuse me. A couple different fault segments here that kind of run into each other. Uh, but it looks like that one occurred right on the Calaveras Fault Zone. Six kilometers deep. Nothing major, just a little bit of uh, continued activity here across the state of California. Way down south. Um, still seeing a little bit of movement here around the Salton Sea. That earthquake there from yesterday, a little 1.6. The San Andreas Fault here for now. The southern branch looks fairly quiet. I don't see any major swarms in or around it uh, today, which is good news, right? All right, Texas area, Oklahoma, a couple spotty earthquakes throughout the region here. Nothing, nothing at all going on across the eastern portion of the country. 2.5 yesterday up into the Canada region outside of the Ottawa area. Into the Caribbean plate. A little spotty movement here today, it looks like. One earthquake off the coast here of Nicaragua with a 4.4 coming in just after midnight, 41 kilometers deep. Uh, let's see what else we have down here. Looks like some other fours in the mix there underneath that uh, pile of earthquakes. Puerto Rico region. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> I'm going to bring these down a little bit. For whatever re reason, last night the globe... Um, when I was trying to sleep, decided to go down to only a few earthquakes here in the globe, uh, which I find rather odd because it's not supposed to do that. You're supposed to manually adjust the uh, settings up here. So I try to keep it about 24 hours of earthquake activity here on the globe, and that's what we're at right now. But just find it strange that things are moving by themselves in the middle of the night. Awfully strange, but I caught it. All right, uh, 5.1 um, South Sandwich Trench. I did mention that last night, right? I think we mentioned to uh, keep an eye on that. Sure enough, it popped up. Did see a 5.1 come in 133 kilometers deep into the northern end of the South Sandwich Trench. This area had been pretty quiet considering all the broad scale activity across the region last week and uh, over the weekend. So starting to see a little bit of activity make its way into some of the southern regions. We should start to see some activity ramping up across the Atlantic Ocean as well, far as the divergent boundaries go. And then the whole cycle kind of begins again. Uh, but 5.1, about five o'clock this morning, 133 kilometers deep. With that depth, we'll continue to watch up north here. Uh, maybe potentially some further activity upstream in the stressed area of that subduction zone. Uh, up into the Alaska area, Looks a little bit more active than uh, California right now, as uh, far as the last hour goes. A couple earthquakes up north of Anchorage and outside of Denali. Cook Inlet all the way along the Aleutian Trench showing a little bit of activity today as well. I uh, don't believe we've got anything major going on up there for now. We did have that five-pointer come in uh, yesterday there near the Anchor Point around the Cook Inlet area. But today, looks like a return to norm, mostly normal conditions out there. Kuro Kamachaka Trench looks awfully quiet once again. Uh, this earthquake up into the Russia area from yesterday of 5.0. Now, we are getting a little bit of activity out here into the Japan Trench. Relatively shallow activity. Let me see what we got here on the globe. Uh, most of that from early this morning, it looks like a couple fours. Newer quake activity starting to spread out here across the Indonesia area. Papua New Guinea, one of the most recent quakes here with a 4.6. Uh, and quite a few threes out here across the Java Trench area, it looks like. A couple of them. Uh, nothing going on across India or the Myanmar region. So it looks like uh, today, uptick activity across the mediterranean and turkey region let's see what we got here for that 4.9 once exactly where that's at romania coming in earlier this morning that uh, area has seen a little bit of uptick 
uh, in earthquake activity here over the past few weeks. Uh, let me bring up last 30 days or so of activity. And that's not really even showing all the movement up here across Romania. Uh, 4.9 looks to be the most recent one coming in this morning. Prior to that, we did see a little bit of swarming activity here, much more than the uh, two earthquakes being reported by the USGS. I think there was uh, quite a bit, quite a few threes in there as well. Looks like a little bit of migration here from that swarming area. So we'll continue to keep that in mind. Uh, Turkey area definitely showing uptick today. Again, that's pretty common though, after some large earthquakes <clears throat> a couple week, few weeks ago. Uh, Atlantic Ocean, quiet for now, but keep that in mind that uh, it should kick up here throughout the day and possibly tonight. South America, 4.5 coming in as we speak into the Peru area. Looks like the majority of the seismograph stations are back online now. Uh, sometimes they do go down over the weekend. Uh, not for sure exactly why, but they have a habit of going down on occasion. So, but most of them are up for now. That's good. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. South America, that's right, 4.5 coming in. Oh, just got upgraded to 4.8, looks like. Pretty shallow, about 20 kilometers deep. Some other smaller quake, but deeper activity inland uh, around the Chile area. So continue to watch this, see how it plays out. 4.1 North Island, it looks like it's right there in that swarming area once again. So let's see what's going on up there. Uh, just outside of the or inland here of the Bay of Plenty. I'll go to the GeoNet servers here real quick and see what's popping up there. New Zealand has been pretty active 4.2, three hours ago. Of course, over the past couple of weeks, we've had quite a bit of earthquake activity. Mostly in the region here of uh, North Island, New Zealand, up here around the Bay of Plenty area. Uh, let's see what we got for the earthquake drums and get a better view of what's going on up here. Looks like a slight increase overnight and this morning. Some type of error down here along South Island, New Zealand. That's not earthquake activity or volcanic activity at all. Looks like uh, some type of error in the data. But uh, up here north, where that swarm's been picking up, looks like things are uh, definitely ramping up here again today with quite a few earthquakes being reported. There is that four-pointer, 4.2, I believe, uh, being reported by the GeoNet servers. And one of the most active drums here, volcanic drums, is, uh, <clears throat> well, it looks like it's offline. This was the one we were watching last night for seismic activity. It was showing a lot of the smaller quakes, but now it's completely blacked out. Um, not for sure what happened, but yeah, not showing anything now. So that leads us with um, only local nearby stations to monitor. I kind of like that one because it was right on cue, right on top of the epicenter activity, but it's offline today. Either way, earthquake activity looks as though it's still continuing there across the New Zealand area today, folks. Um, let me go back and double check, see what these guys got. Quite a few ones and twos here in that same area around that uh, swarming area. Quite a few twos, ones, and of course we had that four-pointer a couple hours ago. So we'll continue to watch this region as it still is showing some uptick in earthquake activity. The GeoNet servers did put out a little article here <coughs> in regards to the uh, earthquake swarm here on North Island that began, uh, I think about the 18th. I think it's been a little bit more than that, March 18th. Back then they only had uh, 600 earthquakes being reported, but I'm sure there's many more. This article was put out about two days ago. So go check it out. It's on the GeoNet server for New Zealand. Just click on the news article. All right, folks. Um, let's see what else we have here. I think that's about it for earthquake activity. Let's seeing if there's anything odd out here that I may have missed. Just looks pretty broad again today. Quite a few areas across some wide regions seeing uptick. So. 
keep an eye on things today, folks. Have a good one. I'm going to jump off here. Still a little bit under the weather. Beautiful, sunshiny day here in Northern California. Still soaking wet, though. Uh, 60 degrees. I'm going to get out here and see if I can't do some... A little bit of weed eating. Uh, it's like a jungle here around my place, considering all the rain we've had this winter. So I need to get that under control before it before I have to bring out a tractor or something to get this uh, get these uh, weeds and grass taken down. Alrighty, all right, we'll be back here a little bit later on tonight, folks, with the uh, uh, nightly update. Till then, stay safe and have a good one. Peace out.